All right, uh, let's look at the planes. All right, so in order to identify a plane, uh, we need a couple pieces of information. Uh, first one it would be a, a one point on the plane. So we have that. So let's call this uh, again um, R0, uh, whose components are x0, comma, y0, comma, z0. All right. Then, uh, but there's uh, so there are infinitely many uh, planes cutting through that point. So another piece of information would be a, um, a normal vector. So a normal vector n, uh, I'm gonna give uh, components a comma b comma c, right? Is perpendicular to the plane. So uh, let's say if you um, you take uh, any point, so I'm gonna take a random point R on the plane. So I'm gonna give a, a general uh, coordinates x comma y comma z. Right then, uh, this uh, the vector from uh, R zero to R. So maybe I'll, I'll just write it as a as a vector here. Right, we'll make a ninety degrees um, right here. Right, and so a uh, normal vector is just a vector perpendicular to that plane. Right, then we want to find an equation for for this plane. Right, so what we can do is uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna use a dot product since we know that the vector r zero to uh, r is going to be always perpendicular to this uh, a normal vector n. So we take the dot product, and dot product should be zero because uh, those two vectors are always perpendicular. All right, so let's start with that. So we have um, vector n, normal vector. Take the dot product with um, r minus r zero. All right, and this is going to be equal to zero. All right, since uh, we know that uh, uh, we know that the here uh, vector n, which is a normal vector, is perpendicular to a vector r minus r zero. Right. So uh, if you write the components, uh, you're gonna get this um, a comma b comma c. Take the dot product with uh, x zero x uh, x minus x zero y minus y zero and z minus z zero right and that's equal to zero then you will get right so the product a times uh, so a times x minus x zero plus b times y minus y zero plus c times z minus z zero is equal to zero, right? And uh, so this is the uh, equation uh, of a plane uh, right here. I personally like this form, but uh, if you um, multiply it all out, you, you end up getting this. You have uh, a x uh, minus a x zero plus uh, b y minus b y zero uh, plus c z uh, minus c z zero is equal to zero. Then, uh, since uh, a x zero b y zero c uh, z zero are all numbers. We're gonna just uh, put all these guys on the other side. Then you end up with uh, a x plus b y uh, plus c z is equal to uh, a x zero plus b y zero plus c z zero. All right? But since since this is just a number uh, right here. So I'm going to call it D. So another way to write the equation of a plane would be 
AX plus BY plus Z, uh, well, CZ is equal to D, right? And uh, where D is the same thing as AX0 plus BY0 plus CZ0, right? So this is just another way to express the equation of, of the plane. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.